welcome back. I hope all is well. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we're gonna take a look at Arteza Real Brush Pens. This is the metallic set. So we're gonna take a look at these and see what we think about them. These were a gift from Crystal at Crystal's Coloring. Check Crystal's channel out, awesome channel. Crystal's Coloring, the link will be below for you to check out her channel. Guys, let's get started. I'm super excited because I love anything metallic, metallic or glitter. And I've been wanting to try these. And this was my Christmas present. And I was, first of all, I was upset about the directions on how to open them is on the bottom of the box rather than being in a pamphlet. Yeah, it's on the bottom of the box how to open them. I mean, once you open them, who's really going to look on the bottom of the box because you would dump your markers out. So a pamphlet was really needed on how to open these and get these started. Um, this is how they look. And then we're gonna get into it a little bit. It says Arteza Real Brush Pens, liquid ink, and there's no color in anything on it. You have a little push symbol right here that says push. And you have a very nice brush tip. I did open these. Um, if these pens would have came with, I wouldn't say a disclaimer, but a selling point on how easy they are to get started because all of you guys know some pens and markers, you gotta prime it, you gotta push it, and it's so hard and takes so much time to get started. These did not take time. Um, I really liked that part about it. It had, they came with, I wish I would have kept a little ring on it, but right here where you open it, it had a pink ring. All you had to do was take the pink ring, take this off, take the pink ring off and screw it back on and it would pierce the top and open the pin. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. But you can only put so much pressure right here, squeezing it. You have to squeeze extremely lightly. You can only put so much pressure because if you put too much pressure, you're going to have ink coming all out of this well here in here just dripping down and i'll show you in a minute um so that's one con i didn't like and uh, the other con was easier directions a pamphlet how to use or just like a little card of how to use uh with simple easy instructions because it was simple and easy it's just under the damn box and who's going to look under the box after you open the freaking pens but anyway other than that, I'm liking them. You're gonna see some gold on some of them because this one I didn't know at the time. This was the first one I was trying to open. I didn't know that you had to pull the ring off. So what I did, because usually when I buy pens like this, you have to take the little stopper out and put it back in and it worked. This was different. And I didn't know it because the directions are where on the bottom of the box. But anyway, I think I would be feel safe with putting these in the cup and sitting them in the cup like this where they will stay, where all the ink will stay at the bottom. So these will definitely be in a cup or some type of something storage where it can stand because I'm just so scared. They'll leak and then it's ink. But we're gonna see. The cap is on pretty tight but there's only so much room in there if it is leaking. So yeah, I would definitely do that. So we are gonna swatch these out. Not only are we gonna swatch these out, we are also gonna color a page in this book. This is Creative Haven, Infinite Illusions coloring book, dramatic black background. This was a Christmas present from Norma Jean Color With Me. Check out her channel. She has an awesome channel, awesome person. Check out her channel. 
please. So we're going to color a page in here. We're going to pick a page. But first, we are going to swatch them. And then we'll color our page. All right. So let's take them all out. And let's kind of put them in the order how I'm going to swatch them. Let's come down a bit. We're going to start with this pink since I have it. I mean, I love the brush. I like the brush. So that's our pink. Let's go with our peach. Beautiful color. And see how it falls out of the side it I mean it's you just I guess you're just gonna have to work with them I don't know Arteza y'all need to get it together pretty let's try we'll do the blues the green is I don't know if that's a green or a gold all right, let's do the purple. Come on. Just a few squeeze, just, you know, squeeze a few times and the color comes out. And you can see the when you squeeze, you can see the liquid in the reservoir. It's kind of transparent. You can kind of see it. You probably can't see it on camera, but you can see it. All right, that's our purple. Let's go with our blues. This is the lighter blue. We have two blues. I think I need to put maybe a mat. I think I'm put my mat, a mat down. There we go. All right, so we got our blue. Let's go to our darker blue. And I'll just show you the two blues in comparison. The colors, the one on the top is the darker. The one down here is the lighter. So let's check it out. Ready? All right, and let's go with our green. Beautiful green. All right, the, all the rest of the colors are basically silver, gold, and bronze. So I'm gonna try to go from lightest to darkest, but some just look so close. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. All right, we're gonna put all of those silvers Cross the top and right under we'll go over with the gold. So let's get started with our silver and golds. This is a 16 set, but as you can see out of the 16 set, you have 
two, four, you have basically six colors, and then you have 10 colors of silver and different colors of silver and gold. All right, here we go. This is our first gold. It looks kind of green. I think this is green, but it looks gold. The cap definitely looks gold. It looks gold, but it's showing up more as a green. All right, this is our next gold. Okay, this is definitely a gold. Our next color. This is the gold that's probably going to be messy. I don't know. Let's see. Because this is the one I opened and that I didn't open right. All right. And the last gold, it looks more like a bronze. So I'm really excited to try this bronze looking color. And I'm putting them in order in the box to make sure that I pick out the right colors when we start our page. Because we're going to start this page and we're going to finish this page together. All right, we're going to start with the lightest color. This looks like a white. I hope it is. That would be so awesome if this is white. And it is freaking white. How awesome is that you can't really see it on the paper you can see a little bit of iridescence let me grab black paper okay i have a sheet of black paper cardstock here um let's put this to the side and let's try out this white on this black paper Just see what we get. And we'll also try another few on the black paper in just a minute. I just wanted to try that white. It's a little messy, a little thin. But this is the white right here. You can't really see it because of the white paper. But this is also the white on this black paper and I'm not too happy with that. I don't know, let's see how it dry. And then we'll actually come back and try some more um, colors on the black paper to see what we get. Okay, let's continue. This is a second, a sip, our first silver because that was a white. So excited about the silver. That's our first silver. Second silver, a little darker. All right. Let's go on. This is an even lighter silver than the first two. Let's see how it look on paper. Okay, and this is our last color. It is the darkest silver. It looks more like a pewter gray. And it is. All right, guys. The silvers are absolutely beautiful. Um, every single one of the silvers 
I could definitely see myself using um, the pewters okay but the, all the silvers these three silvers are beautiful I'm gonna definitely have to mark those because they are really beautiful 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 that green that I thought was a gold that's beautiful your goals are okay they kind of falling kind of short um, the colors are pretty the colors are pretty um, the only one I'm really not liking is the goals. I'm not too much liking the goals. Um, but we'll see. Let's try a few of these. Let me let you see the swatch. And then we'll try a few. This is where we had the white. All right. So let's try a few on black paper, a few of the colors, just to see how they look on black paper. This is our pink. This is the orange. purple and we'll try the blue ooh that blue on black paper is pretty okay so this is how they look on The black paper. They're okay, not bad on the black paper. I mean, if you're going for that look, great, but it's, still, it's okay. It's okay. All right, so far they are okay. The only ones I'm not liking is the, um, the goals. The only one I'm not liking is the goals. But we're gonna find a page to color in this book. <clears throat> I will put the link for the um, brush markers below and I will put the link for this book below. This is a very inexpensive book. I love Creative Haven books. So let's find something to color. And I love this because it has perforated edges. What are we gonna color? Kind of like that one. I'm gonna color this one. Okay, we're gonna color this one using these babies. I'm gonna grab a sheet of cardstock to protect my page behind. All right, and let's get started. Bring it down. We are going to make this page pink, purple. How about all oh, pink and purple? Pink, purple, and I guess we can go green. Pink, purple, and green. Or pink, purple, and orange. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to start with the pink. I've never used these, so this is new for me.
They are really juicy. Really, really juicy. Like you don't have to, oh crap. You don't have to push at all. So I guess this whole thing will be pink. I'm really having to concentrate, guys, because <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I think these are more for backgrounds, large areas, because these are definitely not for little, small, teeny, tiny areas. Definitely not. I don't know if we're going to finish this, guys. I'm going to start. But I don't know. We'll be here all day. Because I'm having to be so careful. Because it's so much ink flowing out at once. This has definitely been better with gel pens. And I've been wanting to color in this book and color in this book since she gave it to me. And I said I was going to use gel pens. But I was like, well, let me try those um, Arteza brush pens, metallic brush pens in this book. But after using them, I wanted the glitter ones, but they were like $45. That's really, really steep. And you know, you still get the same 16, I think. If I'm not mistaken, you get 16. Um, I don't know about the colors because I have not watched a video on them because it was my plan to get them. And I wanted to give my true first impression. So I didn't watch a video on them. But, I don't know. I don't know if I will order those glitter ones. As of right now, I'm not wanting them after these. I'm gonna finish just one little thing here and I'm gonna give you a review on these. I mean, I don't know when I would really use these other than because how they dry and it's supposed to be metallic. I'm not seeing once they dry, the metallic is gone. Just coloring this little small thing. And I really like this page and it sucks that I've messed up this page with these markers but guys I'm just giving you my honest opinion on them okay we have two more little things I'm gonna color and that's it cuz I've had enough <laughs> I've had enough okay I colored this it looks like crap Um. What do I think? I want to get the top. Okay. 
what do I think about these Arteza metallic real brush pens? First of all, um, instructions were not clear. Well, they were clear. It's just they were under my box. And once you open the box, you're not going to flip your markers over because, hey, your markers are going to fall out. So that was a con. Um, once they dry, they turn flat in color. Like there's no really no metallic here. It's just flat in color. This was the white. Look at that. It looks like... It looks horrible, okay? The only thing that I could say that I like about these are these three silvers. There are three silvers in here that I like that I will definitely use again. Um, will definitely be using those silvers. Um, and these are the three silvers. I'm not even going to put them back in the box. I'm going to put them on my desk in those little cubbies. You know what little cubbies I'm talking about? Because I definitely would use these on like fixtures and maybe even a background because you could easily do a silver background with these because you get a lot of flow. You get a lot of ink at one. And these are ink. They are ink. They bled through a little bit. Not too bad. But yeah, these three gold. I love, I mean, silver. Love those. We'll definitely use those in the future. They dry flat. Other than those sil those three silvers, they all dry really flat. No sparkle, no shine. Um, you get way too much flow. And I never thought that that would be a problem, but it is. You get absolutely too much ink at one time. Um, not even putting pressure when I was using it, I wasn't even putting pressure here. I was barely hold, holding it in my hand, trying to color, but just more ink just kept, you know, it kept flowing out. So it's hard to stay in lines. Um, would I buy these? And now would I buy the glitter? I would not buy the glitter and I would not buy these. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. First of all, they are way, way overpriced. These were nearly 40 bucks. I'm quite sure Crystal paid 40 bucks for these after uh, shipping and all that stuff. If, if she didn't, it was close to it. Way overpriced. The glitter is 45 or $46 plus tax. Way overpriced. The product could be a lot better, um, better instructions. It's, I'm sorry, Arteza. You, I love y'all. Know I love Arteza products. I rave about Arteza, but Arteza, these are a no go for me. I'm sorry, guys. If you have any questions, feel free comment below. Comment your um, your impressions below. What do you think? Let me know if you have these comment below maybe i'm doing something wrong so you tell me if i'm doing something wrong or how do you feel about them let me know sorry arteza i love you but i don't love this product crystal thank you for the give so thoughtful i wanted these and she bought me exactly what i wanted but like i say those silvers i'm going to use the hell out of those silvers because they are absolutely beautiful and they are shining they are they are just beautiful, so I'm definitely going to use those. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.